Today I'm going to be reviewing the 10 volt, 1.5 volt, double A size, rechargeable lithium ion battery. I'm also going to do a capacity test to test its capacity along with the inner loop double uh, A size batteries. And finally, I'm going to tear it down and show you what's inside this battery. Let's get started. So first of all, let me show you what's inside the package here. We got four battery, a charger, and a USB cable. So let's take a closer look at what we got here. So here's the charger, and it can charge double A and also triple A size, uh, 10 volt, one and a half volt, lithium ion. Here is the specs on the back of the charger, and it requires two amp at five volts to charge these four batteries. And most of the USB charger can only provide up to one amp. So two amp at five volts requires a special charger. But this package does not come with a charger. It only comes with a USB cable. Talking about USB cable, let me show you this funky looking USB cable. So you press down on the tabs here and you can pull out the cable. Here is the cable. It's pretty neat design. But it is pretty short, only about 6 inches long. Sound familiar? Let's take a closer look at the batteries. So lithium ion rechargeable batteries. They're usually between 3.2 to 4 volts usually. But this double A size lithium ion battery it is only one and a half volts so why what makes it so special and the secret here lies on the bottom part of the battery you can see here there is a indentation ring around the battery on the bottom and I believe this is the buck converter it's also the BMS of the battery. It is so small. Everything is compacted into a very small area on the bottom here. On the very bottom of the battery, there's a ring of clear plastic around. And that has a blue LED and it will light up when you charge the batteries. And when the battery is finished charging, when it's full, this ring of blue LED light will turn off. So next I want to test on the capacity of these batteries. So I have my Opus charger here. I'm going to do a discharge test. See how much capacity these have. So let's do discharge at 500 milliamp. Here we go. I also have some Panasonic analog loop. And I've never done a capacity test on this either before. So I'm curious to see what I've got on these also. So I'm going to run the test on these two kinds of battery at the same time. Discharge 500 milliamp. Start. Be right back. All right, it is officially done, and the results are in. Let's take a look at the 10 volts batteries. All of them have about 1650 milliamp hour. Very consistent. Test time is 3 hour 20 minutes. It's currently zero, it's not discharging right now, so it's done. Current voltage is one and a half volts. So the voltage on the 10 volts stay the same from the beginning of the test all the way to the end. And they all stay at one and a half volts. Whereas for the end loop, they started at about one and a half volts and they went down all the way to 0 0.9 volts when they are done. And the voltage right now is about 1.1 to 1.2 volts. So on the end loops, we got about 2000 milliamp hour capacity. This one is a little bit lower, I guess, because it's a different model. But uh, a lot higher than the uh, 10 volts, which only gives me about 1650 milliamp hour. Test time for hour. It's 
done and let's see what happens when I use the Opus charger to charge these batteries because this charger will think that the batteries are one and a half volts so it will charge the batteries at one and a half volts but these batteries are lithium ion so they should be charged at about five four to five volts so let's put it on charge 500 milliamp and start so the charger is trying to charge the batteries at one and a half volts but the batteries can't take the charge at one and a half volts this one goes to zero milliamp charging rate so these are very low charging rates even though I put the charging rate at 500 milliamp initially see charging at one and a half volts nothing's going on not charging so you cannot use this charger to charge these battery so for charging you're gonna have to use its own original charger to charge these batteries I'm using my solar charge controller to charge this battery using the USB port for my charge controller here and this put out about 1 amp problem is it's blinking so I'm guessing that it doesn't have enough power to charge this battery even at 1 amp so I just go ahead and replace with my Apple charger this one can put out about 2.4 amp and voila it's charging at about almost 12 watts so if you have a USB charger that can only put out about 1 amp you can only charge two batteries at a time because that will be half of that that's about 5 to 6 watts so right now it's charging fine at 2 amp and no more blinking these batteries get pretty warm when they're charging 42 celsius so next i'm going to do a tear down and show you what's inside this battery wow take a look at this looks like it's got two hats one side is for double A and the other side looks like 18650 pretty weird we got my voltmeter here let's check on the voltage of this battery so the positive terminal of the double A is on this side negative is on this side so it should be one and a half volts the bottom part of the battery it looks like it's separate from the top but I could not remove it even with a pair of plier and it looks like it's separated but it's very tight so I guess I'm gonna have to cut it so here we go almost cut across so actually this part here on the bottom and this part of the battery is actually one single piece it's just being compressed down and making indentation right here so that they can insert the circuit board you can see there right there that is the BMS circuit board gotta be real careful not to short it out everything is so compact and so close there we go wow there we go whoa there we go wow so here's the inside wow this is actually a 13430 3.7 volts lithium ion battery 750 milliamp hour 2.78 watt hour so actually if you compare this with the outside of the 10 volt battery it's actually match 2.7 
what hour. So they actually pretty honest about the capacity rating of this battery. So we got 13430 battery. That's because it is about 13 millimeter in diameter and about 42, 43 millimeter long. And I want to go one step further and remove the tapes and everything on the outside here. There's probably something inside and it feels solid. So let's remove the tapes here. And I'm going to cut. One more plastic wrap that I want to remove, which is this silver plastic wrap. There must be something inside. So here we go. That's as far as I can go, I think, because I'm already smelling lithium. The smell is like um, quite a sweet smell, and it's very, very obvious. And that's because I'm already exposing the layers of the wrapping of the batteries here. Let's check the voltage on the battery. Still 4.16 volts. And here is the aftermath of the teardown. Well, that would satisfy my curiosity. And uh, that's all I have for now, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.